Maya and Residue Service Report that's covering 2022 and part of 2021. First and foremost, I need to inform you that Fire Brigade has a total of 600 active men covering 43 fire stations across the country. We have equipment which we are using. We have 46 fire units. We have four boom platform trucks that is used for fighting fire, especially uh, 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 petrol fire. We have rescue van one. We have command car one. We have water tankers which support the fire engines. Well, in the year 2022, there has been an increase by 16 percent in the number of fire incidents reported, and this could have been as a result of our good community policy program, which we have extended all over the country, all over the institution, all over the school. We have also seen a pattern of the of reporting of these fires. Previously, in 2021, most of our calls come from midnight to morning. That is from 0, 0600 hours in the, in the night to morning hours. But this particular year, 2022, it has shifted from one of the night to 6 a.m. in the morning. What does it mean? It means people have continued to do business up late in the night. And this has shown that pattern. We have, uh, I want to report the most top eight devastating fires that we responded to in 2022. Number one, the Soweto market, Magani Zone, Magani Ward, Namwayo Division, what is this? We responded to it. We also responded to the structural fires in 10 commercial rooms in Wichu Ward, Massage Division, what is this? We also responded to fires in a commercial store at Natibuo, active building, central division. Yeah. We also responded to school fire at St. Noah Girls at Kumbi Martin Division. We also responded to fire that's number five in the Police Barracks in Kiguye, Martin Division, Sampalati. We also responded to Timber Yard. Fire, where is the one industrial area, away from the division. We responded to the school fire at the Kunadengo Day and Boarding Primary School, Kunadengo Parish, Kamune District. We also responded to the school fire at Uluba Day and Boarding Primary School, Rukone Village, by Tambo, Sakaunde, Mayuga District. These were the major issues we feel we should let the camp know about it. We also handled top 11 buildings that installation saved from fire. The building that we saved from fire. And uh, I'm happy to report to you that we saved 11 buildings. That is Nambusi Arcade, Kampala Central Division, Powercom Uganda Limited, that is what is so district, Nama industrial area, active building, like the board, central division, Kampala district. Uh, 
party business plan, chairman, along the invites, Kawem presentation, National Theatre Bill, same presentation, Minister of Agriculture, one again, Kawem presentation, Pride Microfinance, Bank, Metropole House and Table Road, Kampala Central Division, Opportunity Bank and Table Road, Housing Finance Bank, Code for the One for All of Supreme Court Kororo, Nakawa, Uganda, Vida, Research Institute, and Tel. And the major causes of most of these fires have been attributed to negligence. Most of our structures do not have fire masters who always keep watch or what takes place around the building. So you find that most of the, the causes of these fires are attributed to negligence. And uh, in some cases, electrical circuits. In a rural slum area, mostly they are caused by charcoal stove. Injuries and fatalities. Injuries and fatalities. In 2022, we saved 271 lives compared to 2000, I mean 221, where we saved uh, 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 445. In 2022, we lost 64 persons compared to 2021, where we lost 74. So there has been some good improvement. It means the population is getting to understand fire prevention. Now, we do not only respond to fire emergency calls. We also respond to accident calls in the road. We also respond to medical calls. We have a combination of uh, the fire vehicle supported with a water tanker, supported with a cover truck, supported with an ambulance. So, Wherever an accident opens up in the road, we always work hand in hand with the traffic to make sure we handle the situation. 